Well, suicide is a tough topic to talk about, especially for men and women who serve in the armed forces. News 19's Colton Emsweiler takes a look at how the Wisconsin VA is shedding light on the subject in the hopes of saving veterans and their families. At the La Crosse Center, the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs is holding the second of six summits statewide designed at bringing awareness and preventing suicide by America's soldiers. Secretary of the Department, Mary Kohler, says beyond the information given, they hope to stop certain misconceptions those in need may think when their lives are at risk. Over 70 percent of the suicides that are occur in Wisconsin are done by arms, guns, if you will. But there are ways to help people to just slow that thought process down. That we're not saying we're going to take away your gun. We are saying we want to help you with the safety of that gun for you, the veteran, and family members and others. Other topics discussed at the event include veteran homelessness, PTSD from sexual assault, and LGBTQ plus inclusivity. Among the lessons being taught by Department Supervisor Cal Stammer, question, persuade, refer, hoping that a veteran asks the tough questions before another life is lost. One veteran a day is too many, and it's one more human being that isn't on this earth. And suicide is the most preventable form of death in the world. And that is something that we can do as the Wisconsin Department of Veteran Affairs, is give people these tools in their tool belt, personally and professionally, to use once they leave these forums and summits. And with an average of around 20 veterans taking their own lives every day, the Wisconsin VA hopes their outreach and resources can save many of the country's bravest men and women from self-harm. Reporting from La Crosse, I'm Colton Emsweiler, WXOW News 19. And for any veterans or their families looking to attend one of these ongoing summits, the VA is holding additional meetings in Lac de Flambeau and Wausau in May, as well as Milwaukee and Madison in June. Exact locations and dates over on our website and news app.